And tonight, loved ones are demanding answers as to how three men died in custody over the past three years. Jamie Moore, Thomas Dalton, and Josh Edwards each died in the Vermilion County Jail. WCIA 3's Jared Farmer is live in Danville. So, Jared, what did their families do tonight? Jen, I'm here outside of the Vermilion County Jail where all three families of each of the inmates that died in this prison gathered here to make their voices heard. They stood outside at the front of the jail with pictures and candles for their loved ones and inmates that were still inside. I caught up with the family of Jamie Moore who tells me that this has had a devastating impact on their whole family. Moore's father tells me all inmates, regardless of whatever crime they commit or whatever reason that they're in jail, should still be treated like human beings. These families, we're all hurting, every one of us. And uh, I'm sure there's young men up there right now waving down here at us. And I want them to know that we love them. Moore was the first of three Hoopston men to die in this jail since 2018. Thomas Dalton followed a few years later in 2020. He became really sick when inside the prison, but was denied attention by medical staff. The third inmate, Josh Edwards, died just last month. Moore's father is calling for the sheriff's office to look for any and all possible reforms that they can make to ensure that incidents like this don't continue happening. Live in Danville, I'm Jared Farmer, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Jared, thank you.